All right, guys, so we are doing the Black Myth Wukong final trailer. So this game's coming out really soon. I totally forget when it's coming out. I think it was, it's either the 20th or it's some other day or, or it's the 25th. There's a game that's coming out, I think, on the 20th. I totally forget what that is, though. So anywho, let's check it out. I'm hoping it's not too loud. But I remember this being pretty loud when I was listening to it originally. The first couple of seconds. Dude, the visuals, they look great. Seriously, I mean, the world looks awesome. This is Unreal Engine, right? It's really good. Seriously, look at that. That, I mean, so many games are becoming so beautiful. That's interesting. Okay, I guess it's a living tree. It, it's cool imagery. Yeah, again, dude, like freaking Asian people, they're going through a freaking renaissance right now because their games are not woke. They're not race swapping a bunch of people. It's just a bunch of Asian people doing Asian things. Overall. This game really looks cool, dude. Look at it. I mean, from everything I see, this feels like, it, sorry, it looks like fluid combat. It looks like uh, cinematic fluid combat. I mean, look at it. It doesn't look like it's stiff or stale. Like there's a lot of games that can look really cinematic, but it's really choppy and awkward. This doesn't look like that to me because there's so much motion and momentum. So what, you can fish? Is that worth your time? I have no idea. Oh, that's interesting. So weird, man. What the frick? It's a good soundtrack. It feels loud. What the frick? Yeah, I mean, I like the soundtrack. The boss fights look cool. Just looking at it. Yeah, all of the boss designs, monster designs, animal designs, character designs, it, all of it looks great. Seriously, this looks good. Wow. This might be a good game, like legit. Now, I'm not really sold on the story. I don't see an interesting narrative here, but I see a lot of great uh, imagery and visual stimuli. Great effects, everything. I mean, great environments. So the world is really compelling here. I don't see a narrative. I don't see a good story. I don't see that. I, I'm not interested in like, whatever goes on for the characters, don't see it, not interested, but other than that, it looks good. Wow. Seriously, I mean, look at that. Wow, bro. Jeez. This is going to be a cool game. It's not coming out on any of my platforms, right? It's a PlayStation. Yeah, I don't have PlayStation. Well, that's... All right, bro. Unfortunately, my freaking mic cut out as I was in the middle of speaking earlier there. So I guess I'll just recap my thoughts a little bit faster than the first time. Um, I'm, I'm freaking pissed off about that. My freaking mic cut out as I was speaking. It was somewhere right here. Uh, where were we?
It was right as we got to... Uh, trying to find it. Ah, oh, it's so mother effing gay. Uh, where the frick is it? Is it here? Yes. Okay, so we were here. Alright. Ah, right, yeah, so we saw this. So yeah, that's coming out soon. Something I was saying before I got rudely interrupted. By my own mic. Screw this piece of trash for doing that. Dark furred, devious natured, hunting that guy is no simple task. You do have some skills, but this land might. Yeah, so I laughed at that. That was funny. This is funny right here. And again, oh gosh, man, I said it all really well the first time. Screw my effing freaking mic. Dear God, it freaking cut out. Okay, so I'm just gonna say a butchered up version of what I said the first time. This is funny. I like it. This is how men write. I like how men write. This is clearly not how we're writing anymore nowadays for American media. Specifically, if you hired a bunch of DEI people and women, this is the kind of writing that you would never get. This would be butchered. We would get something crappy nowadays. We don't have any sense of creativity anymore these days. So we're gonna mute here. Love of God, man, I was already talking about, I, I, the, 10 minutes now, I, I have to edit out of this. I'm freaking pissed. Anyways, game looks beautiful. Love the game. Visual stimuli looks awesome. Characters look awesome. I don't see a story here. I'm not interested in story here. There's no narrative. I can't tell that there's a narrative, but the visual stimuli, the imagery, all of it looks great, okay? The monsters look different. They look unique. The designs are great. This is something that American media used to have, no longer does it have it, because you can clearly tell that this is being worked on exclusively by men. You can tell the overwhelming majority of those working on this product are men. So that's why everything looks interesting. Everything looks unique. Things don't look like abominations. They look creative, even if it's largely a little bit ugly, like some of these monkeys that we see here. But one thing I don't like is that clearly, okay, I think some of the men are probably castrated or they're gay because the women are not sexy in this game. There's no sexy female bosses, right? Monster bosses that are sexy. Um, weird baby Gandhi. Okay, I mean, that's interesting to look at. It's an interesting uh, visual idea there. So, and, and you know, everything that's Chinese, everything that's Asian, typically it looks really wacky and weird. So that's interesting. And um, I, I, you know, I don't, I don't know what else to say about that besides it's just very strange. I mean, obviously the Chinese and Asian people in general, they have some very weird kind of wacky ways of thinking about things. And, and because of that, they have this kind of creativity. Again, you won't see anything like this in American media because now we're hiring women, we're hiring diversity hires. So here we are. We don't get anything as good as this, but everything looks good. Everything looks cool. Everything looks great here. Okay, most replayed right here, by the way. This is why I think that we're looking at. I don't know everything that we're seeing, but this guy, his name is, I looked it up in Smite. He's Yu Wang, as far as I'm seeing. He looks almost exact, one for one, as Yu Wang, okay? I don't know his name, don't care, okay? I, this looks like Wukong to me, just an alternate version, but I don't think he is. Uh, he might be Raijin, he might be, but I think, personally, right here, the guy on the right, to me, is Raijin. Just because he's a little bit stockier. But I could see this guy actually being Raijin, because Raijin, I think, is supposed to have, like, a purple skin or something like that or whatever this complexion is on the left that might be Raijin and I'm thinking the chances are it's Raijin and then the guy in front he looks like to me Sasano but I have no idea he might be Sasano though um that would be really cool if he were I have no clue again whoever the guy on the right is I can't really tell but these look like the other gods for Chinese mythology so that's really cool and bro I'm actually looking forward to this game I don't look forward to a lot of other games. Um, sadly, I don't have a PlayStation, so I can't play this, but whatever. I'm going to make a review for this game regardless. Um, I'm interested in seeing it. I'm interested in picking it up. I wish I could pick up games like Stellar Blade and whatnot, but again, I don't have a PlayStation, so, you know, sucks to be me. But again, this game doesn't look woke. It looks like a bunch of Asian-inspired things, Asian people. I don't see a bunch of diversity. Um, again, I don't like the fact that the women are not sexy. That's the only thing that's DEI about this game is that clearly the women are not sexy because I don't see any sexualized women. And something I said 
Um, while the mic was not picking up any of my audio, awesome. Something I mentioned was that, you know, I would love if we could see a freaking a fallen emperor of some kind or some kind of dead emperor or whatever, some kind of mythological dude from Chinese history. And he has a freaking harem of concubines, like 14 wives or something, okay? Or concubines, whichever one. That would be freaking awesome. We won't ever see anything like that, though. And right now, today, we sanitize and we bastardize everything so wildly. We can't have sexy women. We can't have a dude that's got a freaking huge brothel for a freaking family, right? A, a bunch of women. Um, it sucks. It sucks that we don't get anything cool, but or, you know, things sexy in that manner. But the game looks cool. The game looks interesting. The characters look unique and creative. And there's imagination that was put into this. Again, I don't think there's going to be much of a story here. But there's going to be a lot of cool uh, eye candy as it pertains to Chinese mythology. So, I'm looking forward to this game. I wish I could pick it up. I can't. Whatever. But there also seems to be, I think, something that uh, was not picked up. There appears to be a lot of fighting styles in this game, too. So, we have right here, uh, combat. Where's the combat? It's, like, right here. But it looks like there's a lot of different combat styles. I don't know how, how in-depth it's going to be, but it looks really good. It looks like there's a lot of options in the game. That's what I'm seeing. It looks like a lot of options. And again, it looks cinematic, and it looks fluid in its cinematic appeal, which is something a lot of games like this, they might look cinematic, but they're really clunky to play. This looks really good. It looks fluid. It looks crisp. It looks creative. It looks dynamic and diverse. There's all these things that you can tap into. There seems to be so many combat styles. And again, look how many monsters there are. It's so cool. Look how many bosses there are. This game, in my opinion, from just this final trailer alone, this looks like this is going to be some of the best stuff that we've gotten in a long time. It's not going to be sexy, sadly. There's not going to be a bunch of sexy women. There should be. Uh, love of God, there's a lot of hot freaking Asian women out there. Uh, you know, Japanese, uh, Chinese, whatever. There's a lot of sexy chicks out there. I wish we could see some sexy Asian chicks. Yellow fever, what's up? But regardless, I think this game's going to be freaking awesome, man.